I am Danielle. I'm Izzy. And I'm Jordan. And, and this, this is our French project. project. Jean Jack Goldman is a pop singer who uses his musical success as a way to voice his opinion on political topics. He is mainly popular among French speaking teens. Jean Jack Goldman was born in Paris on October 11, 1951. He developed a passion for American rock and roll and folk music. Jean Jack Goldman released his first album with rock band Typhong in 1975 and their first single, Sister Jane, was a smash hit. After their third album together, entitled Last Flight, the band Ty Fong decided to split up in 1979. In 1981, Jean Jack Goldman had a major breakthrough in music when Mark Lombroso, a young producer, heard one of his songs and encouraged him to make a demo. He played the demo to Epic Records, who agreed to release his single, To Sofira Duncine, which was a big success. He then signed a five-album deal with them. He released his first album solo, Demode, in 1981, and his second album, Minoritaire, in 1982. In 1985, his fourth album entered the charts at number one. Jean Jack Goldman is known for being a charitable man who is involved who is involved in Les Restos de Pour, a charity for homeless people. He even wrote a song for them. Throughout his long career, Jean Jack Goldman has written for or collaborated with In 1997, he released a blues album called En Passant that made a huge change in musical direction but didn't affect the sales. At the beginning of 1998, En Passant sold over 1,250,000 copies. Between March 1998 and June 1999, Goldman went on a solo tour across France, Switzerland, Belgium, Africa, the Indian Ocean, and the French West Indies. It was very successful. He wrote 10 tracks for Celine Dion's album called Dio Suffice Day released in September 1998. In 2001, Chansons pour la Pied made another change in musical direction. Chansons pour la Pied was a combination of styles and genres, such as techno, dancing, pop, rock, and disco. In 2003, he released a 22 track album called Un Tour Ensemble. He also collaborated with Celine Dion again, this time on her French, new French album. Patricia Ka was born in the mining town of Forbach, France on December 5, 1966. Even from a young age, her German mother and French father encouraged her to follow her musical dreams. At the age of 8, Patricia Ka began performing locally and at the age of 13 she signed a contract with a German cabaret in Sarabrook called the Rumpelkammer and was booked to perform there every Saturday night for the next seven years. While performing there one night, she was discovered by a Lorraine architect, Bernard Schwartz, who arranged for her to audition for the Phonogram Record Company in Paris. Although her debut single was successful, it was her second single, Mademoiselle Chant Le Bleu, that was an instant smash hit and that launched her career. The single sold over, sold over 400,000 copies. Patricia Ka has currently sold over 16 million albums worldwide and has toured with more than... 47 countries. Patricia received two Russian music prizes for her contribution between the two cultures of French and Russian. She has one of the top 10 French personalities for over 20 years. Patricia Ka's musical career continues today to reach audiences both in France and abroad.